Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today we're going to be tackling the question around the Hadoop developer versus admin and which one you should focus on if you really want to find a job as a data engineer. So find out more right after this. <clears throat> So today's question comes in from a YouTube user. And so if you have any questions, data engineer related, big data, uh, maybe even just workout related, just ask me you know, any kind of questions that you have, uh, submit those in the comment section here, or you can go to thomashenson.com and I've got a special page put up where you can do, go to thomashenson.com, big questions, and you can submit any questions there and I'll answer them as best I can on air for you and try to help you out. So this question came in from YouTube, so, um, it's uh, from Josh, Yoshi. It says, hi, Thomas, uh, going for a big data course. I found that there are two courses, namely the Hadoop developer and the Hadoop administrator. So my question is one, is Hadoop development and administration, are they dependent? Meaning that the developer must go for the administrator to get into companies. Or two, again, there's Hadoop tools like Scoop, Pig, HBase, Hive, and others which one is better? So Scala, Spark, what, what is kind of the advice there? So I've talked a little bit about, you know, some of the comparisons between Python and Scala. And so I have a video if you wanted to look there, but really what I'm going to tackle today is just the differences between the Hadoop administrator and the Hadoop developer and which one I think is going to help, you know, you become a, you know, a data engineer or, you know, what companies are really looking for. Well, uh, kind of cheating a little bit because the answer is they need both of them, right? They're, they're, they're not one's better than the other one. This, I mean, this could be in anything, you know, application development, which is, you know, IT operations versus, you know, developers and kind of who, you know, who, who has the uh, most at stake there and, you know, the most need for jobs. And so developers are very popular, but, you know, you need the developers to create your applications, but you need your administrators and your IT operations to run those applications too. And so it's all going to depend on what you're looking for. So you don't have to be a Hadoop administrator to become a Hadoop developer, and you don't have to be a Hadoop developer in order to become administrator. So, you know, those certifications, first thing is, you know, just separate those out and kind of divide, divide those into separate categories and decide what you want to do. Now, with the caveat around the fact that there are some basic skills for Hadoop administrator administration that a Hadoop developer is going to want to know and there's some basic you want to understand the projects and do be able to do some things that a Hadoop developer can but those are all going to be covered in those certifications I don't know exactly which courses you're looking at maybe if you respond back I can kind of help you out there I know I have some courses that are out there and in those I kind of target target those for the Hadoop developer or the Hadoop administrator but then you sprinkle in the pieces that you need to know so like I said, specific to what you're asking, I don't know those courses, but in general, a generalization, you should be able to complete either one of those courses and not have to pick, you know, if you're a developer or administrator. But the question about which one, which one should you go for, developer or administrator, I would say it's going to depend on what you like doing. So do you like, you know, coding? Are you, you know, into Java? Are you into Python? Do you really like getting into the code and writing out different pieces of code? And if you do that, you know, those are some of the, some of the things that a developer is going to do. Do you like being on the scrum team? Do you like, you know, working with other developers to be able to create applications? You know, if you have those skills and that's something that you want to do, and that can be, you know, independent of big data, then you can look at the developer. But if you like some of the administrative tasks, do you like building up these big, large systems? Do you like, you know, installing and managing and do, doing some other things that are around administration? Do you like the excitement of being able to, you know, have, have systems that are up and running? One thing around it, I mean, I know developers, developers have it, but more common for administrators is, I mean, you know, they do have on-call hours too. So that's something else. If you're looking at your career, it's like, hey, you know, do I want, you know, something that's traditional, you know, nine to five, or maybe you don't have any on-call hours, a developer's more likely going to have those than your administrator. And developers still do have some, some on-call, but not as, it's not as prevalent as administrators. So with administrators, you know that you're always going to have some kind of rotation if you're keeping these applications running at a 24-7. Um, so, you know, knowing that kind of going in. And then also, I mean, what do you like doing? So like I was saying, do you like coding or do you like, you know, playing with applications and keeping those running? Um, it's, it's pretty cool. So I don't think that either one is going to keep you from finding a job. Meaning, I don't think that if you go into administrator, well, the market's flooded with administrators or we don't 
you know, how, you know, we have too many Hadoop administrators. That is not the case. And if you look at, you know, some of the things that we've talked about in the past about the career development and just even the salaries for data engineers, you'll see that there's, you know, there's huge need for administrators, a huge need for developers. It's just about what you want to do. So that's all for today. I hope I answered your question. If anybody has a question, make sure you submit those questions. We'll get them answered. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss an episode and so that you can you know, be involved in the community and find out all the goodness. Until next time, I'll see you.